In this video, we'll learn how to profile Java applications with AQTime. AQTime can profile either JAR files or Java class files. It's also able to profile mixed code Java applications. These can be either Java applications that call native code libraries, or native code applications that launch the Java virtual machine to execute some Java code. And in this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to profile a sample JAR file. Let's get started. To profile a binary module, AQTime would need that module to be compiled with debug information. Debug information usually contains information on function names, the length of the function's code in memory, its location in source files, and so on. Now Java applications can be profiled without preparing them in any special way since the Java compiler includes the required debug information, line numbers, and source file information by default. The Java bytecode also includes information about the application's internals, so packages, classes, and methods. One thing to note, though, is if you compiled your Java application with non-default settings, you may need to rebuild it in order to generate that debug information. And you can find more about that in the compiler settings topic in the AQTime help file. Okay, so the first thing we want to do to profile our Java application is to create a new project within AQTime. And the way I'm going to do that is just come up here to File, New Project. And now I'm going to add my sample Java application to the project. And to do that, I'm just going to click on this Add Module button right here on this toolbar. And then I'm going to browse out to where my Java file lives. So I'm going to switch the Files of Type bar here to Java Files. And I'm going to choose this performance sampled.jar file, and I'll click the Open button. Now, Java applications cannot be run directly by the operating system. As such, I need to specify a host application that will invoke our Java app. AQTime uses host applications to load non-executable modules, such as Java archives, to profile them. To specify a host application for my Java archive, I ch first need to choose Normal from this drop-down menu right here. This is selecting my profiling mode. Once that's done, I'm going to go to Run Parameters. Now, in this Host Application drop-down, I'm going to make sure that Default Java Runtime is selected. In the Parameters box, I'm going to type in dash jar along with the jar file's name. And then finally, this work directory is going to contain the path to the profiled application. So in this case, it's stored here in the AQTime7 samples directory. Now I'm going to click OK to save these parameters and close the dialog. To profile this sample Java application, I'm going to use the performance profiler, which I've chosen from this drop-down right here. Now, the areas pane manages the profiling areas that specify what code elements will be profiled. So we're going to specify the profiling area for our sample Java application. As you can see, AQTime provides four predefined profiling areas. You can profile .NET code, script code, and Java code. Now, important to note here that profile entire Java code is going to profile all the functions executed by the Java virtual machine. That is, all the functions that belong to the current projects and all the functions of the standard Java classes. In our scenario today, we do not want to profile the standard Java classes code. We only want to profile our application. So to do that, I'm going to make sure that full check by routines is selected right here. Now, AQTime profilers can analyze the application's code at three levels. We can do it by routine, by classes, or by lines. For right now, I want the routine level. And the routine level is selected for the first profiling run so that you can find the problematic routines. And then once you've located those, you can add them to the line level profiling area to figure out exactly which code lines within those routines are causing the performance problems. So let me show you how to create a custom profiling area and add elements to it. To do that, you just need to right click inside the areas panel and say add area. In the add area dialog here, I'm going to give my area a more descriptive name. I'm going to call this my Java app, and I want to profile that down at the line level. So I'll choose the line radio button and click OK. And now you can see that AQTime has added this new area called My Java App into the Areas panel. So now I want to specify which elements I want to profile down at that line level. And I want that to be the main form class right here. So I'm just going to drag that right from this tree 
onto that area. And this way, the entire application will be analyzed at the routine level, and the routines of the main form class will be analyzed down at the line level. Okay, our project is ready now, and so now I'm going to start profiling by clicking the Run button right here. And since I don't need to modify any of these settings, I'm just going to go ahead and click the Run button. AQ Time starts up the Java Virtual Machine that launches my sample application. And so now I'm going to click Execute and wait until the application finishes while AQ Time performs the profiling. Okay, I fast forwarded a bit. You can see that my application has finished. So I'm going to click OK to acknowledge this message. And then I'm going to close the sample application down. Now, when I do that, AQ Time generates the profiling results that are displayed here on the Summary and Report panels. Now, the Summary panel displays brief information on the profiling results. For example, the slowest performing routines are showed down here. Uh, the functions that are called most often are displayed here under the routines with the maximum hit count. The Report panel displays the profiling results and shows time spent on each routine's execution here in the time column, the amount of time each routine took with its children here in the time with children column, the number of times the routine was called here in the hit count column, and so on. Now you may want to determine the code type of the profiled routines. And to do that, the report panel displays the routine's code type in a code type column. Now by default, this column is hidden. So to enable it, what we're going to do is right click on the header panel here, and I'm going to select field chooser from the context menu. Then I'm going to grab this code type header and I'm just going to drag that right onto my test results panel. And you can see now AQ Time is telling us that the routines here were byte code. If you had profiled an application that was mixed code, then you would see byte code and native code routines. So you could then group the routines by their code type and examine the Java byte code and native routines separately. I'm just going to put this back on the palette and close the palette down. Now, if you'd like to view the application source code and obtain the profiling results for each code line, you can switch down to this editor panel and then specify the path to the source directories here in the project search directories dialog. So I'm going to click this button right here, and then I'm going to enter the path to the directory that contains my project source code right here in this dialog. I've already copied that path to the clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it in right here. Now I'll click OK, and now you can see that AQ Time is displaying the source code here in the editor panel for the routine that is currently selected in the report panel. Routines that belong to the main form class were profiled down at the line level. So the grid on the left hand side of my screen right here is showing you profiling results for each source code line within those routines. Line profiling results include the line's execution time, hit count, and other values. These results can help you find the slowest lines within a given routine and help you isolate portions of code that require optimization. This concludes our video on profiling Java applications with AQ Time. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the URL on your screen. We wish you luck and hope you enjoy working with AQ Time.